Well, Chicago, here we come. For those wondering, it's a two hour drive. Yes, hello. Holy cow, it's cold out. It's about seven degrees. We've made a pit stop at the Lake Forest Oasis for one thing, for my sister. What's the one thing that we get in Disney all the time? All the time. There's a cool little stop inside the Oasis. Welcome back to your Daily Dose and uh, welcome into Illinois. What are we getting, Alexa? Or what are you getting? Popcorn, hopefully. Popcorn, hopefully is right. Oh no, that says, uh, Sorry, we're closed. Dark popcorn, it's my sister's favorite. How does that make you feel, Alexa? Pissed. Oh, I S use a better upset. word, sad. We did get something else instead. Auntie Ann. Pretzels. Okay, Chicago, let's go. Chicago traffic is ridiculous, but we're happy to be here, even though it's 10 degrees out. We have to go 11 miles, it's taking 44 minutes. Holy cow. This is incredible. The buildings look like it's a mountain. It looks like it's a mountain. Welcome to Chicago, everybody. Unbelievable. This is absolutely amazing! I think we found where we have to go. $60, $50, $50, we have to do it. Otherwise, well, Valley's- just pay 75, that's another 25. 12 to 24 hours. Oh. So it depends, we might only need 42. No, because we'll be here for 24. Parking for 24 hours, $50, $50. Lisa split. Fifty dollars. Lisa it split three ways. Fifty dollars. Split one way to split this man. Three ways. Um, I. Alexa, with the amazing park job here. Wow, this is so good. <laughs> well, we're finally here. It's seven oh eight. I think that took about two and a half hours, two two hours and forty five minutes. But we're gonna go check on into our hotel and then head straight to dinner because dinner is in about an hour and uh, oh, wait, ten minutes. We sure got a lot of luggage for basically one day. Um, I have one bag. Your sister has two bags. This is just the jacket and makeup. I didn't want my makeup to get all over my clothes. Would just like to say we have no idea where we're going. Absolutely no idea. It's good to know. Eh, okay. What's behind door number one W? Is this it? I don't know, let's just go. <laughs> I think we just walked into an office building. Great <laughs> <laughs> right elevator lobby. Mm -hmm. Where the heck are we? Oh my gosh, it's so windy out. Okie dokie, we are, we are moving. We're staying actually at the Intercontinental and we're ha we have a nice cool little suite. We have to walk there and guess what Kyle forgot? Gloves. Kyle forgot gloves. Guess who's freezing again? Mom. We're all Why freezing, but Chicago right is there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We have to cross to go up those stairs. Trust me, I remember. But why is it saying that it's right? Something that was really cool as we we're coming on into Chicago is actually like looking at all the flights flying on into O'Hare. Um, do you guys know what is the busiest airport in the world, or actually in America? Comment down below. Come on, let's go. Working on it. Oh, 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 oh. it's chilly. We're on Michigan Ave right now. Also, thank you uh, to everybody on Instagram who uh, gave us some recommendations on where to eat. The famous Michigan Avenue. It's beautiful too because they actually still have some of their Christmas decorations up. Oh my gosh, we've made it. The Intercontinental. Never stayed here before. It's gonna be a first. Excited to check in. I'll meet you guys in. 
Whew, fancy door is here. Oh, get me in, get me in, get me in. Oh, holy cow. A lot warmer in here, a lot warmer. My ID? Okay. By Saturday, 40 and rain. Are you serious? By, yes. And rain. And rain. Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> Number Wi-Fi access code black keys for the fitness center. White keys are four days long. Okay? Awesome, sweet. And you're all set. Thank, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank thank you. Thanks. You too. The Intercontinental's lobby is actually pretty darn dark. There's really not that much lighting. I haven't really stayed at uh, Intercontinental anywhere else, so this is my first taste at uh, what it looks like. About a half hour until our dinner. We are on the 29th floor. I will repeat that. The 29th floor. I don't think I've ever stayed that high before. Looks like the highest floor is uh, 41. Unbelievable. 29? Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Wait till you guys see this room. It's incredible. Dark hallway is really like tiny as well. Let's check it out. Oof. Oof. Holy cow. I feel like it's home alone in New York City. This room is incredible. We've got a uh, one bedroom, but technically two bedrooms, and then two bathrooms. Wait till you see this place. It's incredible. You're standing in, a, well, we're in the, the king bed right now. Test that bed out, Alexa. Test it out. Go, girl! Woo! Yeah! My mom just said, shh, shh. What? What? We're at a hotel. About a, uh, I'd say that's a 70 inch TV with a huge desk area in this first bedroom. The door, we have two doors, two ways to get into our room. Um, over here is going to actually be the first um, bathroom, which is incredible. Body wash, conditioner, shampoo. Wow. Behind the door, and lovely shower. With the tub, the Intercontinental is uh, kind of no joke. <laughs> Shower with no shower curtain. <laughs> Soaking tubbing, it's amazing. Wait till you guys uh, see these views. This is amazing. So we're gonna head on in to the living room. The living room, remember this is actually a suite. A one bedroom suite. I think it's a junior suite. Oh, it, it's on a, it's a mounted TV. We're gonna watch an episode of Ozark tonight. If you haven't watched Ozark on Netflix, it's Amazing. Wait to see your views. Wait to see your views. But in to our next room is where I'm going to be staying, the living room. This is um a huge room. <laughs> All to yourself. Yep. Please be comfortable. Yeah, not the greatest. <laughs> There's our second door to enter our suite. Remember how I said this is two bathrooms? Second bathroom in here. Wow. It looks pretty much identical with the same shower, soaker tub as Alexa calls it, and beautiful window view of uh, the city, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. Remember, we're on the 29th floor. This suite is amazing. This suite is absolutely incredible. The Intercontinental, I'm probably gonna have to stay at another one just to compare. It's the views for me in this huge, immaculate room. I believe it was only like $230. 275, 275. Look at, they have robes for us. This is so cool. If you live in Chicago, your city is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just don't have the best sports teams, AKA the Bears. We know they still suck. <laughs> I feel like a, a hotel room like this at Disney would at least cost, I don't know, six to $700 a night. It's like a DVC room. So big. Look at this. Keep going. I keep going. <sighs> Dinner soon though. <laughs> I'm having too much fun in the hotel room. Dinner time. Y'all ready? I am ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Okay. These hallways. Wait. No. Look at We have two doors. Lex, give me a hold of this. Door there. Door there. We're eating at a place a lot of you guys actually recommended. Again, shout out to everybody who recommended a place here in Chicago. Love you guys on my Instagram. I'm hungry. Out we go. Uh, huh. This is neat. CVS Pharmacy. 
Nice. Good thing is, two blocks that way and uh, dinner is hopefully served. Not a lot of people out walking. Wonder why. Oh yeah, it's five degrees out now. You know, Kyle, it's, Kyle, it's time for you to go back to Florida because I'm tired of being cold all the time. Crossing the street, we're crossing the street, we're crossing the street in Chicago. Kyle, I Great you song. <laughs> I can't get over this city. Um, fun fact, Chicago is actually my backup plan if for whatever reason working at Disney or um, prior to actually going full time on YouTube, I was just gonna come down here and uh, live in Chicago, get like a banking job or something. I'm happy that never happened, but I wouldn't put out of the picture moving to Chicago later on in my life. I don't know, it's probably not gonna happen anymore because I'm addicted to the warm weather. Haven't even told you where we're eating at. We're eating at the Grand Lux Cafe, and I guess it's owned by the Cheesecake Factory, so it's gonna have like similar food, but that's okay because I love, 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 love the Cheesecake Factory, so we'll see how this is. And again, thank you to everybody who, um, who suggested this place. He's obsessed with the Cheesecake Factory. The Grand Lux Cafe. We did get reservations. I don't think we need it. Oh, vaccination required? I don't have my thing. You didn't bring your Vax card? No. Do you have a picture of it? Do you have a picture of your Vax card? No? Gosh dang it, I don't know. I did tell you that you needed a Vax card. I didn't know they needed to get in In uh, Chicago, I think Illinois, you need proof of Vax card and uh, meaning to uh, wear a mask. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Record. Digital record. I think I have it in my... Let's go. I feel like... I feel like I'm about to go on a cruise ship that they need to see our vaccination card. Holy cow. Change the lighting for you guys. Yeah, this kind of got cheesecake factory vibes going. Let's just see what they say. Nothing to lose. You just go back. It's right there. I know, but it's right there. Vaccination and mask. Well, maybe they don't check it. I don't know. I don't know. An elevator to get to the ocean. This is an escalator to get to the restaurant. I don't think I've ever had to do this before. Huh. I love Chicago. Wow, we didn't even need to have reservations. Are we... Are they closed? I feel like they're closed. It's like nobody here. Well, apparently, we have the whole place to ourselves. Is this, like, normal? This is so weird. At our show, our ID and Vax card. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm going to get a massage. This place is amazing. Oh my gosh. I think I'm moving to Chicago, everyone. Well, just like the Cheesecake Factory, it's a pretty darn big menu. My IPA comes in a can. That's uh, very interesting. What do we got here? We've got the Anti-Hero India Pale Ale. It's gonna be a terrible pour. This is the crunchiest bread I've ever had in my life. I'm sure you guys hear that. It's kind of hard to chew. I don't think you like the bread because it's got a hint of sourdough. Sourdough is something you either like or you don't. So if you guys know me, I'm actually going to be getting a burger. Avocado Chipotle Cheeseburger. $16.50. Big spender. What are you getting, Alexa? Parmesan, Parmesan crusted pork chop. Mom, what did you get? Chicken fried chicken. The IPA is pretty good, by the way. I haven't really eaten anything all day, so this IPA is going to catch up to me, and I'm looking forward to it. Holy cow, Alexa, that looks so good. I'm not gonna finish all this, holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that a pork chop? Yeah. Potatoes? Potatoes first? Okay, fine. Oh my goodness, oh. First bite, you know what it is. Hot. Oh, she likes it. Chicken fried chicken. Chicken fried chicken. Chicken fried chicken is so what they fried call chicken. it. It's the littlest bite I've ever seen. I'm good. Last but not least, we've got my um, Chipotle avocado burger. I'm gonna put some onions on here. Came with some onions. Burr. Here we go. Hmm. 
unbelievable. Um, the best burger on Disney property is at the Brown Derby. This might even top the Brown Derby's burger. This is absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I might have had way too many, uh, one too many IPAs, but we're feeling great. How was dinner? Dinner was good. It was good. Dinner was great. It's still cold out. Yeah, it was let's, great. Let's freaking let's, go. Let's, yeah, let's freeze it. Onward with the show. I feel like that's like the sixth police car that's gone by. Wow. With the wind chilled, it's uh, I think negative like 10. It's uh, the Deathly Hollows out tonight. Go, 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 go. Oh. Fitness center. Supposedly, there's a pool. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, let's go swimming. <laughs> this pool is amazing. Incredible. We gotta go swimming. They've got an audience for us. Should have brought my phone for an Instapic. This place has locker rooms, but don't really need that when I'm the only one in here. You did need a vaccination card to enter this pool, but let's have some fun. I had sweatpants under my jeans because I'd freeze if I didn't otherwise. I don't really suggest this after you eat. Your towel will eat, sir. <sighs> Thanks. It's really small. <laughs> it's not often you have this nice of a pool. Well, that was fun. It's got me looking forward to cruises and water parks coming this year. That was so thrilling. <laughs> For me, it was. I'm so glad I came. A plus on the fitness center, too. It's two stories. Oh, this way. What? Push? Oh, you have to scan it somewhere? What is this place? What the heck? <laughs> we stuck? Have a good night. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Mom, you missed out. I did? That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's right at top. Your hair looks all wet. Because I went swimming. Oh, yeah, sure. No, he did. I did. That's why his hair is wet. Well, everybody, that is going to be it for your daily dose. Time for me to use this awesome, amazing shower and hit the hay. It's 11.30 at night. Just got done with the edit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a lot of action towards the end of the day. Not really much in the beginning. I was because we traveled to Chicago at the end of the day. But look at this view. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. The lake. I mean, sorry, the river is frozen. That's cool. We'll be venturing out tomorrow and um, visiting some very cool place. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I don't know. Let me know if I should visit Chicago more often because I feel like there's a lot in the city that we have to explore. And honestly, this is a lot of fun. I love the Intercontinental. It's pretty dope. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.